What do you think drove that run at the end of the first half? That I mean, that was the difference in the game. Uh, I said all the time, teams make runs, and uh, they made a great run. They, I don't even know what they were shooting, but every time I turned around, they, they shot the ball like it went in. So, uh, you know, we knew our time would come. We just, you know, stayed within our principles on defense. Uh, we, you know, made them take some tough shots. But, uh, you know, exactly like I said, the runs happened. You know, our, our run was a little more firepower than theirs. And, uh, you know, it propelled us, you know, to the second half. As far as hunting shots, that some coach had said mm -hmm. he talks to you about, is that the phrase he uses with, with you? Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, is, is, it, is it tough when you know you want to get the bowling ball up too? Like, finding that balance? Like, that hat, what does that mean, Adam, the boy looking hunting for shots? Uh, you know, so it's what all the great point guards have to do. But uh, I think sometimes I'm a little over unselfish. And uh, it's kind of... You know, it takes away open shots and you kind of mess up the field. You know, going forward, I'm, you know, I'm transitioning to it a little bit more. You know, he's pushing me every day, and I, I know for a fact he's not going to, you know, you know, take his thumb off. Me. So I'm just doing the best job I can and being more, you know, be more aggressive. Uh, no, it's okay. I just, you know, I just felt like, you know, I worked hard on the shot, so it's, I shouldn't be, uh, you know, second guessing myself pretty much. Is, is there a particular spot on the floor you like to shoot from, from deep? Specifically, anywhere. Whenever my guys give me a spot, or whenever you know daylight breaks, I think that's the best spot for me. I don't really know. Curious to get your thoughts on DJ Wilson because you know, he's really been helping you guys with rebounding, and you know does that sort of take the pressure off of you? You know, having another big guy who's you know being able to get these boards. I know that that's something that you all have struggled with you know, the past couple of years. Uh, I smile every time he walks into the game because I know for a fact that uh, uh, he's going to you know, take care of those things for us. But uh, he's been great. He had a great summer. Uh, he was great even last year when he didn't get a chance to play. And uh, I'm just excited he's getting his opportunity to shine. And, uh, you know, he's going to be a great player. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, I mean, you've been around him for you know, the past couple of years. What do you think has really changed about him, you know, coming into this season from previous seasons? Just coming into his own and changing his mindset. Uh, I think he was, you know, kind of passive on the fact that, you know, he himself was a great player. Uh, you know, he was playing behind some great players as well. But I think he's accepting the fact that he's, you know, one of the you know, key contributors on this team. And, uh, you know, his role is, you know, uh, non-negotiable. We need him. You know? I think that's the biggest difference with his mindset. Are you talking about the, the, the treatment you received since Friday night? Because John said about an hour after the game. What would you do? It's so about an hour after Friday's game. And then what would you do yesterday and kind of just leading up to this? I uh, just try to ice it and... Uh, ice as much as possible, get us the blood flowing in it. Um, it didn't really swell up, so that was good. It's kind of like a little bone bruise, but uh, you know, much as possible, just icing and, and heating it, just making sure I'm ready to go. I'm sure you've rolled an ankle, sprained an ankle a number of times. A lot of times, you know, when you're still playing, I mean, it feels fine. Then you go home and you sleep, and then wake up the next day and it feels like, you know, mm -hmm. broken. You didn't have that? Is that, I assume that? Uh, I mean, the first couple minutes of the game, it was, it felt like I had like a, a, a stick in my foot. It was real stiff, but of course, as the game flows, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it starts to warm up. I feel a little bitter, but uh, like I said, it just, it's just the biggest difference is when I sit down and uh, you know we just inactive for a minute. It just locks up on me. But uh, you know, our training staff is great. I'm, I should be fine in the next couple of days. If not, I felt a lot better today, though. So no worries about it really going forward on Thursday and all that. Yeah, I, I you know, I just yeah, I just put all the you know uh, the work into the hands that they pay these guys to the great staff that we have. I just, you know I trust them 100. percent So uh, they give me an estimate time, and I just try to be there. And, and do is, you know, whatever they ask me to.